Okay. Um, so those of us that have been doing this for a while, um, we notice that there are things that you have said or a teaching that you will give multiple millions <laughs> yes. it seems like um, and so one it would seem like there's multiple levels to the teachings so you could hear it one time and it means one thing for you and another time it means something different and it seems like there's levels not just levels but What's the word? Like, I feel like there's levels. Like, as you proceed on your path, there's levels to a teaching. But sometimes there can even be multiple meanings mm -hmm. in that teaching on the same level. And then, on top of that, <laughs> which this is going to seem very complicated, so I'm hoping you can explain it to everyone, um, what... So you may have a teaching that for one student, it could mean one thing. Like if you were to address a group, sometimes it's hard to address the group because you give one teaching and it means this for that person and that for another person. Right. So can you explain all that? Yeah. <laughs> so good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to explain all that. Yeah, other than it's true. <laughs> oh, I'd be hard pressed just to pull one out right now and be like, here's how it works on all the different levels. <laughs> say, though, it is it is very true that you know, it, even if you take something, any religious text, we could do the same thing with. They're all written. They're encoded. So there are levels of understanding that are in there and you can only see it when you're functioning from the state of consciousness that's then able to receive that level, right? Bibles, I mean, they're all like that. And so these teachings are the same thing. And they're, you know, I, I struggled for a while because I remember even saying to, uh, to my guide at one point, I'm like, you know, I just, I feel like a broken record. I feel like I'm, getting ineffective because I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. And she laughed at me and she said, well, you know, remember what it was like when you started and didn't you have the experience of needing to hear something many times over before mm -hmm. the deeper understanding of it really hit home. And I was like, yeah, that's absolutely true. And she said, okay, so just, just remember that all the time that these people are functioning at varying levels and some of them just they haven't hit it yet you know so if it's coming forward it needs to come forward so that was good that i that i had that conversation with her because it was like wow i just say the same thing over and over but the difference is it's because you're not um learning information when you're doing this kind of work it's not like i'm sitting down and i'm, I'm teaching you algebra right? Where it could be like, come on, I've said this to you 10 times. What part don't you understand at this point? Mm. You're not working it from that same mental level. So what's happening is as you're listening, you know, the energy is doing its work and now the words come through and, and on your end, you know, the mind takes it and it, it turns it into the way it can perceive it at the moment, but you're being bombarded on multiple levels because it's really about the energy transference more far more than it ever is about the words that are being spoken and depending on where you sit today there are things that you're capable of receiving and other things that are just going to go right by because you just can't um, it's too much to integrate at this moment so that's why even for yourself it seems like something happened with you recently i know it did because i was working on a video and i saw it where I said something and I saw it, the light bulb went off in your head. You had <laughs> made a connection between what I was saying and it finally registered, even though it would, it's been seven years, it finally <laughs> registered what that meant. Because you now, why? Because you now had the personal experience to be able to see it through that lens of your experience. 
-hmm. And it was like, boom. And then you had that moment of synergy where it all came together and it was like, Oh, I get it. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that's the journey. The journey is you're coming in having whatever the understandings are that you have. Now I'm going to give you more understandings, some of which will seem to make sense, some of which will not. And then your job is to continue to live your life, to do your best to live from those understandings, even though they aren't integrated, knowing that as you continue to journey, the experiences that you have are custom made for you so that you can come out the other side wiser and more capable of then integrating that understanding the next time it rolls around. So it has to keep coming over and over and over again. And what is true for you will not necessarily be true in the same regard for another person because of the specific place you're at in your own journey, right? So if, um, I don't want something too specific, but if you have a certain issue that you're dealing with, and it's very specific to this, if I have another person in the same room whose issue is actually the exact opposite of your issue, mm -hmm. then, then what I'm going to tell you is not the same thing I'm going to tell them, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And it's tricky. That's, that's why it is tricky for me to, to work with groups because from a personal place, because of that right there. Because if I'm saying something, a lot of times, if you listen to me when I'm like, when, when we were doing the radio show forever, I constantly had to say now, like back up. Now, wait a minute. Just because I'm saying this doesn't mean that. And I had to do that all the time because someone else listening that it really doesn't pertain to would maybe pick that piece up and go, Oh, so this is how I'm supposed to look at it. And it's like, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. You know, and I have to be careful with that. It's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky to navigate that. Uh, but that's exactly what does happen. So yeah, when I'm working with someone, you've got multiple levels, like think of it as like multi-dimensional levels. So multiple levels of kind of encoded information is coming in and coursing through your consciousness. And then the words are there to kind of humor the mind more than anything else, but you need it, you, you need it to a certain degree. And then, you know, it's through your, your life that you'll continue to move and through your contemplation and meditation and all the things that I have uh, students do, but mostly through your life experience consciously that you'll then be able to move into a space where, you know, the hundredth time that I say it, it'll turn on the switch. <laughs> Yeah. Once it does, then you don't lose it again. When and every now and again you do, mm -hmm. but usually when you have the really big moments, not because it clicks in here, but because you had the synthesis of experience and knowledge that boom, mm -hmm. they came together. Mm -hmm. Those you don't forget those. And then you just you just, you know, stepped up to your next level and now that becomes your new norm. That helps. <laughs> Yes, does, um, and I'm sure this will have to be explained more later, does the imprint have an effect on um, people's understanding of the teachings I get. I mean, I'm guessing that it would because your experiences are kind of also ha are entwined with the imprint and things like that. Oh, absolutely. And you, you, uh, without getting into detail about what the imprint is, yeah. it's it's kind of a major component. But if you figure that people, even when they start their journey, that's where they're spending most of their time, right? So all they can do is view it through the lens of it. Mm. It's like ego, it's, it's ego looking at ego. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, so that's where we start. And so yes, a lot of what the actual imprint is, is colored by the filters that are in place for the personal self. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's part of the, that beautiful journey because as the dis dissolution takes place, now your, your scope gets broader and wider and it makes you capable of seeing something grander that you couldn't have seen before. 
so yeah, they all, they all, it all works together like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs>